Hey y'all, it's Christina and Peter from Indigo River. We want to do a walkthrough of this gorgeous 32 foot long Rambler floor plan. It's, we call it the Rambler Plus because it has a bath and a half. What? A bath and a half? No way! <laughs> yep. A tiny it, house? It's towable too. Get out of town. <laughs> Yeah, so Peter's going to tell us about this house. It's 32 feet long, eight and a half feet wide. And how much does it weigh? Oh, 17,000? Something 16, like that. 16,000? It's on the, it's 16. 16, I think. Yeah. It's on the website. Yeah. Um, and sorry, you were going to say the height too. 13 and a half feet tall. Yeah, so most of our homes are 13 and a half. And you can do a shorter one called the Indigo Go, but we're here to talk about the Rambler. Tell us about this. We got outdoor storage here. For all your gear. Standard. That, standard. All of our homes. And then the Mr. Cool mini split system. This is the outdoor unit. Keeps it cool in the summer, hot in the winter. Super efficient and works great, runs great, looks great. <laughs> and then we have the exterior. It's got the smart side siding. And then this, this, is, this house is used and Christina, did you mention it was for sale? Oh yeah, it's for sale. Um, so, the first homeowners had a cat. Right. And then out on their deck, they had a little cat outhouse, if you will. And the deck cat came through here into the, into the outdoor box and had the kitty litter boxes out there so it didn't stink up the house. Yeah, so it was like a closed, closed off. But it, I guess it had an opening so they could clean it, clean the kitty litter. Yeah, the, it actually had a, a drawer that the kitty litter tray was in that you could open. Nice. And it also had a door on the side that you could open and clean out inside there. Yeah, so that was came out onto their deck. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you go on inside and we'll look at some more. The house is for sale for sixty-five thousand, which is a really good deal. Um, if you built this house today, it would be around one hundred twenty-two because of the hyperinflation of building materials. So, um, it was built in 2019 for a mother-daughter duo, and they've had some changes that they needed to do something different, so they're, they've put Lovey up for sale. Yeah, they, Even though they, they did, they, Denise still wants to live in it, but <laughs> life happens. Yeah. Tell us about the kitchen. We got the little dinette here. Just super cute with comfortably seats two. Then we've got the kitchen area. We've got it's got the upgrade to the quartz countertops, um, custom cabinets, even with the toe kick drawers way down at the bottom for stuff you don't need to get to very often. Soft got closed drawers. Soft closed and drawers and doors. Mm -hmm. uh, double stainless steel sink. So full size double stainless steel sink. The oven, and it's got a full four burner range. It's an apartment size, it's 24 inches wide, but it still has four burners and an oven big enough to cook a turkey in. And then <laughs> a microwave with a built in vent hood while you're cooking. Uh, apartment size fridge and freezer. Uh, and it even has an ice maker in the freezer. That's not something that we normally put in. So that was an upgrade. Yep, that was an upgrade. And then the cabinets are pretty standard, right? Well, I guess upper cabinets are a little bit more. Yeah, upper cabinets are an upgrade. Usually we do shelves. But that pantry. Yeah, pantry is an upgrade. Uh, this is the wardrobe here. So she wanted a little more wardrobe space um, for her hanging clothes. And then I'll show you the bedroom. She had a chest of drawers up there in the bedroom. And I'll just show the living area one more time before I go up in the stand-up loft so you guys can see. Um, our stand-up lofts come with, included in the, you know, the floor plan, any floor plan with a stand-up loft comes with the storage staircase. And it's a real staircase that's normal tread, is that what you call it? Yes. So, um, there. this is a box that has doubles as a step to get into the bed platform and also there's storage underneath that lifts up and then there's still room you know to have a piece of furniture back there and, and lift up your the front part is the door 
So of course the uh, window is big enough for egress. Nice and big with some privacy curtains. And then this is the queen size bed platform. Plenty of plugs. That's got a USB built in. And then this wall has all the connections for TV and cable. And the, um, the catwalk is open to the bedroom so Peter can peek. And so the kitty cat can go out there. So you got plenty of landing space here, plus the step space, and then room for a night table or a that tall chest of drawers was great because I'm sure she, she could use that for a night table too. Yeah. Did I say everything? Queen size bed platform. Queen size, yeah. Stand up loft can hold maybe it's six two. Normally it's six four, but because of the gable roof, this is an example that if you do a gable roof, you lose a couple inches. Um, but she did the pop-up dormer, so that's an upgrade, that multi-level roof. But you can just do the single slope roof, and that gives you more headroom than anything. Maximum headroom. Mm -hmm. And that's standard. All right, so which bathroom should we go into? That's never been a question in any other tiny house video. Well, let's go into the half bath first. <laughs> So there's plenty of room here for a pull-out sofa so you can have a guest. And then this little half bath is cute. It's a, Mimi calls it a Barbie sink. Plenty of shelves. Paint job looks great. And then a regular flush toilet. Um, you could, you know, remove it's the obscured glass. You could remove the toilet and put a composting toilet in there to have options or you could just remove all that stuff and make it a closet and then this is the laundry cove for a combo unit that's vented so if you get the vented combo unit um, that will work that it won't take forever to dry it I know there's some comments online about those combo units but yeah the main thing is just get a vented one yeah the vented work work pretty good the the condensing units they work okay but the vented ones work pretty good and right now we recommend Splendid Splendid the, it's a European brand the French for Splendid <laughs> yep so the TV uh, comes off the TV comes with the house yeah. right mm -hmm. yeah so it will um, shall I demonstrate sure the cord might fall down yeah, so it can tilt and come out from the wall. So, if you're sitting so when you're sitting on the room, couch. Tilt it towards there. Yeah. You're in the kitchen, watching your cooking show. You can tilt it towards the kitchen. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Or the dining table. All right, so um, we'll show the bathroom. So most of our, most of our houses, if 24 and up, 24 feet and up, come with a soaking tub standard, but these guys chose a shower. So it's pretty spotless. Has a nice drying rack there built in. A vintage um, mirror medicine cabinet. And then it's a, I don't know, I don't think that's vintage. This the sink's not. sink, yeah. And then obscured glass again. Plenty of storage space and another flush toilet. So you can get a flush toilet or an RV toilet standard or you can upgrade to an off-grid. Peter's drinking fake coffee over there. <laughs> Alright, so did I say everything about the bathroom? I think so. Oh, so, it does have an energy recovery ventilation system in there. Oh, yeah. So that it sucks air from the outside and blows air from the inside out. Uh, they pass between each other they don't mix but there's vents that are interlocking and so the so it helps regulate the temperature of the air that is drawing in nice. and so you, so you don't lose so much air when you're drawing fresh air in from the outside so that's, that's the fancy cool. upgrade um, air ventilation system yep. and then another fancy upgrade that you can't really see is that this house is made with SIPs yes structural insulated panel panels Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said it wrong last time. <laughs> the structural insulated 
structural insulated panels and what that is it's um, you know they come in eight foot wide panels uh, they have OSB on the outside uh, structural foam on the inside and then OSB on the in on the inside so it's kind of a looks like kind of like an ice cream sandwich when you it does and you cut a section of it out and then that that's they're super st structurally sound um, they've held up great help driving down the road better than anything we've built with because we've done steel frame we've done stick frame which is what we usually do um, and then we use the structural insulated panels so we've done done all three of the the primary building systems for for tiny homes on wheels on wheels and we you know the in my opinion the the best structurally is the the sips the structural insulated panels so that's and a lighter weight yeah that structural foam means it's strong enough to build a house out of it's thicker it's a better insulation better r value and it and it seals up so it's like a cooler in here it's like it's an igloo they cooler coolers they make igloo coolers out of that stuff and it, it's rated for category five hurricanes right if it's tied down you know that's the the issue but um <laughs> they did what was the tell the story about they found some thing after a hurricane oh yeah so i um a guy that i know who's an electrician uh he he was working on a project down in galveston on the coast and they built a dozen or so houses out of structural insulated panels they're about 1100 square feet little bungalows and they're built on piers because they're on the sand and a hurricane came in and washed a couple of the piers out of one of the houses right on the corner and the whole house uh, just tilted like that down that on that corner they came in they jacked the house up put reinstalled a new pier in there and the sheetrock inside didn't even crack dang it just fell over as one unit went back up as one unit oh my gosh they really are very sound so so when you're driving down the road I guess that's like a hurricane winds right <laughs> <laughs> so that's one reason we recommend the sips for the travelers package it's more lightweight better um, better structural soundness <laughs> I didn't say that I, st I started out wrong so yeah so if you want to buy this house we can put you in touch with the owner and it's a such a deal um, hyperinflation of building materials has been kind of depressing since COVID and so you won't get a 32 footer you can't even made out of it. zips yeah we probably couldn't even buy the materials and labor we definitely could not build it for for what it's going for it'd be it, it'd be way below our cost now oh my gosh so snap this thing up come All see right. us tomorrow yeah and thanks for watching thanks for watching <laughs>